in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Story. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her image. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Just of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's My bullshit. little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. Plus, it's perfect for me, and I have to get my daily selfie friend. quota. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions. Of I do the love my analog camera. The in the struggle. I should take a quick picture now. Without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. 
And it's a great tradition, and I hope... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. No matter who wins, I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Man, he even has the best Plasma HGTV for a class- I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. 
Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special <laughs> picture <laughs> training class. They're just the getting it ready. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always to texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls, it's sad to imagine a world I hate having everybody you. see inside my locker. American girls, I'd like I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Yeah. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. American girls in the movies No one can tell where your heart is American girls like dogs There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria smiles and plastic I think that's Courtney She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria American. Ah, the science room Here's the portal to Warren's brain. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. That's Dana talking to, Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. 
That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Now who would bother to write that crap? Good to flow. Thanks. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to... Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? <gasps> because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the...
did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And... Any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people with the... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreo... Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself I have to go. Too world, much happening right now. No matter who sure. Wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. What are you waiting for? Go! to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have totally. that chance. Oh, totally. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. 
John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Daniel is getting bullied all over again. I hope he doesn't remember. Oh, shit. I know you didn't forget you owe us cash. I forgot for a while. Why look at him? He can't help you. Science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Because if you send me a... Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, so it's happening again. People trying to control I'm me! I'm too scared to get near this psycho. I'm more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? I need a hammer to break it open. Me, oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! More trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. I don't see that Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. 
Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this, without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback? Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why schools should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max, and I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. 
Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd rather not, Daniel. Not that I don't want you to. Never mind. I guess you would be too ashamed. Now, I have to get back to my drawing. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving, or...? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, 
I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Oh. Hi, Max. No. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better Ooh. off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use.
What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. There's only one way around this. Grab that. Samuel is way too close. Let's see if this works. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. They live. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more.